Guys, subscribe and turn notifications on, leave a like and drop a comment down below. Get here first and win giveaway codes I will pin as first comment on some of my videos. Be fast and good luck. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I bring you another Destiny 2 video and today we check out how to get new Season 5 Pinnacle weapons which look amazing but before we go any further guys if you do enjoy the video and would like to show your support you can by hitting that like button and if you are new around here and enjoy daily destiny 2 videos be sure to subscribe so the black armory is here pretty soon less than two weeks next week with the weekly reset we get an update starting season five with it new pinnacle weapons to earn this week at bungie covers all of them how to get them and what is special about these weapons so let's get into that Season of the Forge is kicking off next week. With it comes a new pinnacle weapon to earn in the Crucible. We received a lot of feedback that you'd also wanted a pinnacle weapon to work toward when pitted against the environment. Good news, we have two for you. Vanguard Strike Missions and Gambit are being added to the list of worthy pursuits with coveted trophies to be claimed. They won't take as much of a time commitment as the Crucible reward does, but they will still require some dedication to their activities. We asked Sandbox designer Victor Anderson to give you a full rundown on all three pinnacle weapons for Season 5. Quoting Victor, We have heard your feedback and requests for weapons akin to Luna's How to Earn in non-crucible activities like Gambit, and to meet that demand we've created three pinnacle weapons. I do hope you'll enjoy them. Vanguard's weapon, loaded question, high impact fusion rifle offering arc burn. Loaded question's unique perk is reservoir burst. When the battery is full, your next burst deals additional damage and causes enemies to explode on death. This one went through a couple of cycles. Originally it had a completely different perk that didn't quite make the cut. We tried a version that only had damage bonus, but damage bonuses can sometimes be hard to appreciate when you're using a special weapon against lower health enemies. So explosions on kills were added to really sour the oomph and deal with waves of clustered enemies. And we can see on screen that looks pretty sweet. I mean, I mean, it looks sweet there, but it just looks like your standard old fusion rival in game, does it not? So how do you get the loaded question? Well, you pick up the quest from Zavala, so that's how you start it. Complete all the following objectives, and it states you can earn progress towards these goals all at the same time. 500 fusion rifle kills in any strike or nightfall. 1000 arc kills in any strike or nightfall. 40 strike or nightfall completions. Once you've done these, head back to Zavala to receive a fully masterworked loaded question. So you can do these objectives at the same time. So you could just do 40 strikes using an arc fusion rifle and probably get well you will get this completed within 40 strikes but again once you've done that head back to survivor to receive that loaded question pretty damn cool so the gambit weapon the breakneck precision auto rifle kinetic breakneck's unique perk is onslaught this weapon's rate of fire increases as you stack rampage when the plan was made to create more pinnacle weapons for a variety of activities and not just a crucible, we had to think of something that would fit the activity. This was intended to be a workhorse for Gambit encounters, where killing a large number of enemies very fast in the name of the game for a significant portion of it. So something with Rampage was an obvious starting point. Pinnacle weapons occupy an interesting space in the sandbox where we can take what is normally a legendary tier effect like Rampage and expand on that idea further. We did it with Outlaw and Desperado and we're doing something similar here for Rampage. So how do you earn this epic looking auto rifle which you can see on screen now? Pick up the quest from the Drifter once season 5 starts. Complete all the following objectives you can earn progress towards these goals at the same time. 500 auto rifle kills, 100 auto rifle multi kills, 150 challenging enemies defeated, 40 gambit matches completed. Complete all the objectives and head back to the drifter to receive a fully masterworked break neck. Now this weapon looks absolutely amazing, I'm not going to lie. Out of the three we will see today and learn about, this is definitely the one I will be chasing first. 
So moving on to Crucible's new pinnacle weapon, the Mountain Top Lightweight Grenade Launcher, which is a kinetic weapon. The Mountain Top's unique perk is Micro Missile. The weapon fires in a straight line and has a massively increased projectile speed. In addition to the above benefits, the projectile instantly detonates on the environment instead of bouncing like a traditional grenade launcher, unless you have sticky grenades selected. This weapon was created for a few reasons, other than the malicious birthright, we have created any new lightweight grenade launcher since Forsaken. In general, it's a pretty underrepresented weapon type. This gave us an opportunity to explore it as a pinnacle crucible weapon and add more variety to the mix of what you'll use and have used against you. The feeling of getting a direct hit for that instant kill is satisfying, so the weapon was built to support it. But to give it more options, it's also the only lightweight grenade launcher with sticky grenades. For those of you who want a more tactical approach to the crucible, this thing is going to be an absolute monster. I mean, if it kills somebody with a direct impact, I mean, it could be a monster. It really could. I look forward to seeing how it actually plays out in PvP. So, how do you earn the mountain top? The quest to earn this weapon lives up to the weapon's name. It's going to take some dedication. We did change it up this season so you can do some of these steps in a non-competitive playlist if you choose. But you will progress quicker by playing in a competitive playlist. You still need to rank up glory score to Fabled in the end to claim the weapon. Step 1. Reach glory rank brave within a season. Step 2. Each objective earns you progress per action in any playlist, and players can earn substantial bonus progress by completing these objectives in the competitive playlist. In the Crucible, earn grenade launcher final blows, 750 total points. Non-competitive playlists, kills count as 3 points. Competitive playlists, kills count as 10 points. So 75 kills in a competitive playlist with grenade launcher does this part. Rapidly defeat groups of enemies or more opponents. 200 total points. Non-competitive playlist, double plays, 2 points. Subsequent kills after double plays, 1 point. In a competitive playlist, double plays, 5 points. Subsequent kills after double plays, an extra 2 points. Earn calculated projectile medals, 100 total points. Non-competitive playlists, medals earned, 1 point. Competitive playlist, medals earned, 4 Four points. Step 3. Reach Glory Rank Fabled within a season. After you've reached Fabled, you can come down from the mountain top and return to Lord Shacks to receive the mountain top grenade launcher. So that's a crazy ass quest for sure. I mean, I can't use grenade launchers to save my life, but I'm gonna have to try and get this. I really am. Quoting Bungie again, we got a lot of feedback from players that they didn't want splitting their progress towards the Crucible Pinnacle quest. All these objectives use account wide constructs so players can complete these objectives on any character, that's pretty cool. They should give you an idea of how Pinnacle weapons work in Season of Forge. Next week you can start earning them and see for yourself, so that's pretty amazing people, it really is. So three new Pinnacle weapons to farm for. We have the Loaded Question Fusion Rifle, we have the Breakneck Auto Rifle, and we have the Mountain Top Grenade Launcher. Epic. So we're going to cover the Bungie Foundation, what's stated within the weekly TWAB. The Bungie Foundation aims to reduce distress and suffering in children through entertainment. On a daily basis, this sees us working with hospitals to put games into the hands of young people whose hearts need a lift. There are moments, however, when we expand our mission to include others who also need a helping hand. Our hearts are with all those who have lost their homes or beloved ones by the ongoing California wildfires. By purchasing the Destiny 2 Bungie Foundation pin between now and the 31st of December 2018, 100% of the profits will be donated to Direct Relief's effort to support. We have been proud to partner with Direct Relief on a variety of disaster relief efforts due to their unwavering dedication to the people they serve. Prompt support using customised methods that specifically meet the needs of each situation and full transparency on the use of all donor funds. Please help us in supporting the amazing work they're doing for the residents and the first responders in California. So that's definitely something you should be checking out people and I will obviously post a link direct to this within the video description. Great great cause for sure. And lastly guys we're going to cover is a new webcomic coming called Cade 6. 
Heroes may die, but their stories are forever told, and some heroes have more stories to tell than others. Cade 6 had a job to do, so he gathered a troop of unlikely troll makers and headed to the reef. The plan was to hunt fallen barons in the Tangled Shore. The plan was to bring outlaws to justice. Maybe the plan didn't go so well, or maybe it did, depends on who you ask. After all, when someone goes looking for trouble, sometimes they find it. Cade 6's part 1 sets the stage for a showdown between Cade 6 and the vile scorned barons who eventually help claim his life. Cade 6 part 1 will be released on 27th of November 2018 in all supported languages so feel free to check out our web comics while you can via the link which I'll put within the video description people but yes it looks pretty cool if you ask me and I cannot wait to get my hands on that and read it but guys that is it for another video if you want to go through the entire twab you can there's a few updates and minor bug fixes which I do mention at the past time if you do want to check that out also but I've covered the most interesting parts in my opinion now if you guys enjoyed the video leave them like really does help me out tell me down below in that comment section what the first pinnacle weapon you'll be chasing in season five but guys thanks as always for stopping by hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did leaving a like really helps out and hopefully guys i'll see you on that next one always in the wrong knowing where we stand